All right, Algebra 1, Lesson 63. This one is on product of square roots rule and then repeating decimals. <clears throat> so let's talk about the square roots first. Um, first thing I want to tell you is we're going to kind of be um, trying to find the square root of 50, square root of 200, and then also the square root of 147. And I'm going to teach you the simplest way to do that, okay? But before I get into that, <clears throat> I want to show you two ways. I'm going to draw a line. If I had square root of 2 times 5 times 5, okay? Um, do you remember yesterday uh, when we were talking about, well, actually, let me show you this first. So this is square root of 2 times 5 times 5. It can also be written square root of 2 times the square root of 5 times the square root of 5. They're next to each other, which means multiply. So I can write it like this, or I can write it like this. Okay, now, um, where am I getting these numbers from? Well, I'm getting them from 50 because I'm taking 50, and do you remember doing the prime factorizations? Okay, so this would be 5 times 10. 5 is a prime number. 10 is 5 times 2. So I get 2, 5, and 5, which is 2, 5, and 5. Okay, so we're learning how to break this down. If I'm not able to go 8 times 8 is 64, 7 times 7 is 49, so therefore, a whole number, 7 times 7, and a whole number, 8 times 8, cannot make 50. So we have to come up with a different way to simplify it. So when you can't come up with a simple, to, can't simplify it um, naturally, you're going to do it this way. Okay? So we've got 50, which is the prime factorizations of 2 times 5 times 5. Okay? Now, now that we know this, it can either be written like this or this. Now, from yesterday, do you remember me showing you that uh, square root of 64 times the square root of 64 is the answer of 64? Mm -hmm. Because square root of 64 is 8, square root of 64 is 8, and 8 times 8 is 64. Remember that whole rule that we talked about? Yep. Now, applying this same knowledge, let's look up here at this one. Square root of 5 times the square root of 5 is really what? Right, because square root of 64, square root of 64 is really 64. So the square root of 5 times the square root of 5 is really 5. So then all we've got left is square root of 2. So your answer at this point is going to be 5 square root of 2. You always write the whole number first, then the square. And that's the simplest form of that answer. Because it never will come out even. Yeah. Okay? Because... Remember, we tried to come out with it even in the very beginning. 7 times 7 is 49, didn't work. 8 times 8 is 64, doesn't work. Okay? So now, down with that one. Let's do 200. Okay? So, remember, your first step is to take that and do the prime factorization. So give me some numbers. Uh, you could do 50 times 4. 50 times 4. Okay? Either of those are... 2 times 2. 2 times 2. Those are prime. 5 times 10. 5 times 10. 5 is prime. 5 times 10. 5 times 2. Okay, now you just take these numbers and go square root of 2 times the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 times the square root of 5 times the square root of 5. Now remember, the reason why I went on and wrote the square root of like that, I could have written it like this. 2 times 2 times 2 whoops, <laughs> times 5 times 5. Remember that? Mm -hmm. And then we can figure it out this way. But we need to put it in this form so that we can cancel some of them out. Okay? So, that's our prime factorization. That's how we figured out these numbers. And now this is what's written above. Okay? Now, we can always take two of them and get a whole 2, right? Because square root of 64 times the square root of 64 is 64. So, square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is 2. All right, we're going to take these two. Square root of 5 times the square root of 5 is 5. So now I've got 2 times square root of 2 times 5. So let's go on and take our numbers, multiply them 5 times 2 is 10, and then I just have square root of 2. That's the simplest form of square root of 200. Got it? All right, I'm going to leave this down here just to help us remember that's our standard to follow. Okay, square root of 147. Um, Let's go ahead and take 147. 
I have no idea what goes into this. Uh, let's try. It'd be, it'd be seven. A seven, something with seven. So that's 21. Seven times 21. Okay? Seven is a prime number. 21 seven is seven times three, and those are both prime. So now it would be three times seven times seven which is really the square root of 3 times the square root of 7 times the square root of 7. Okay? Following the same rule, these two make a total of 7, and then we just have square root of 3. Final answer. Yep. Got it? Mm -hmm. Feel like you understand it pretty good? Yep. All right, do this one on your paper by yourself. 108. And I'm going to do it on my paper by myself. If you need to pause it while you're still working, you may. Six square root of three is what you should have gotten. Okay? Square root of two, square root of two makes one just normal two. Square root of 3 and square root of 3 makes a normal 3, so 2 times 3 is 6. And then all we've got left is square root of 3. Very good. Okay, now the second part of this lesson is not very long at all. We're talking about repeating decimals. And all I want to share with you is, for example, 1 third would be 0 0.33333, and it would literally go on forever. So what you do is put this thing called a repetend bar over the number that we'll be repeating, and then you just leave it like that. Okay, here's another example. Two-thirds is 0 0.66666, and it would literally keep going, so you would put a repetition bar. Okay, let's do another one that's a little bit different. Uh, one divided by six is 0 0.166666, okay? So I wouldn't put it over the 1 and 6 because it's not 1, 6, 1, 6, 1, 6, 1, 6. It's just 1 and then tons of 6s. So the repetition bar only goes over the numbers or number that repeats. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that would be it. All right? That is lesson 63.